What's going on, guys? Your boy, Jane and Ashe. Right, so today, we're going to be going over a few things. First, we're going to go over how you guys can stream horizontally and vertically on the same YouTube channel. But here's the thing. When you stream vertically and horizontally, it's technically two different streams. All right, but we're going to do it on one YouTube channel. And we're going to go over how to get both of our chats to streamline itself into one chat box that we can, you know, check on our side. All right. We'll also go over how to multi stream to different platforms. So that being Twitch, YouTube and kick all at the same time. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download OBS Studio. All right, open broadcast the software. This software is free. OK, let's repeat that. This software is free. OK, you're going to go ahead and get that installed, get it opened up. And the very next thing you're going to want to do is download ATM vertical plugin. All right, so you're going to download ATM vertical plugin. It simply says it right here. Step one, install. Step two, go through the installation steps. Step three, you're all set. What it means by all set is once you close your OBS and open it back up, it's going to automatically be integrated. All right. The next thing you're going to want to do is download Caster Labs. OK, now there are a few different um, you know, uh, plugins are different ways you can get your chats to stream into one, you know, box, but Caster Labs out of all the things that I chose seems to be the best, right? I, right before this, um, I kind of swore by Chat Ninja, which is a Google Chrome extension. The only problem with Chat Ninja for me is that you have to, depending on how many uh, platforms you're streaming to you have to pop out all of your chat boxes right and you can minimize them or whatever but you have to pop out all your chat boxes and then you'll get your chat to show up on your obs all right um for me i, I you know once i learned about castle labs i was like nope that's not the way to go specifically because now think about it if you're popping out you know me i stream to twitch kick youtube i was streaming the facebook at one point as well to me i just feel like now my computer has to work more right it's eating up more data you know now because i have all these different chat boxes you know um out and open now with caster labs it allows you to connect directly with all of the platforms you're streaming to so once you get it download it and you open it up, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's gonna ask you to connect to all your different accounts, all right? Which is a beautiful thing. All right, so we're in our YouTube account. We're gonna go ahead and add a stream key so that we can stream vertically to that stream key, all right? So this is by default, is gonna say default. I've renamed my um, horizontal because you know that was the default one and then i went ahead and created a new stream key so we're gonna you know you can name this whatever you want right i you know named my vertical just to kind of make it easier to differentiate which one i'm streaming to right rtmp leave it as is do not turn on manual settings just leave it as is press create and now you're going to have a new stream key that you're going to take, copy and paste it into your ATM vertical plugin that's on OBS, right? And that's what is going to allow you to be the stream to that key on the same YouTube channel. All right, got it? I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. Let's go. All right, guys, so when you open up OBS, of course, it's going to be blank. I already have my OBS set up um, the way I like it so that I can stream. 
but what we're going to pay attention to is this right box over here all right so this is my vertical side the right side of my screen is my vertical side all right first thing you're going to want to do is create a new scene okay so we're just going to na name it vertical scene that's fine it's going to come up blank like this okay next thing we're going to want to do is add our sources okay so we're going to hit plus we're going to add our source um let's just say we're adding a display capture okay so we're going to go new and here we are we have our display capture pop-up okay um we can also change where this display is coming from so we're going to change it from my vertical monitor to my horizontal okay so now this is most likely how it's going to look for you guys it's going to pop up horizontal all right so we're going to enlarge it we're going to put it somewhere in the middle and let's just say you're having a hard time trying to figure out exactly where the middle is right we're going to just tap display capture just so that is um highlighted we are then going to right click go down to transform and center horizontally all right so with that being said now we're going to need to add our cam of course we're going to need people to see us so we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign again video capture device and you're going to add whatever cam you have set up and plugged into your pc um for me it's a brio 4k cam so we're going to go ahead and add that now you might be asking yourself well why is it that this is a globe right uh, well that's because under right if i hit brio which is the camera and i go to this box which is filters i have a couple of different filters on my camera Reason being is even though this is a Brio 4K cam, I mean, it's really not the best cam. It is just a webcam at the end of the day, right? So I have a bunch of filters and because my background, um, there's a lot going on in my background, right? I normally have my kids, they be running around in the back. Um, I'll, you know, I have, you know, my wife, she comes in, she walks in, right? So I don't want people to see all of that while I am live streaming. So I decided to come up with something that I like that looks good. And my, um, end all be all was to create filters, right? So that is a circle. If I take that off, this is a pop out right and then this one is blur so if you look at the blur and you look at my background and you look at the face now that blur kind of instantly made this camera feel like more like a dslr camera right so if i take that away it looks more like a basic webcam if i add that blur now it kind of gives it that you know that depth of field type of you know view right um to take it a step further I added the pop out and then further than that, I added the circle. Now you get a real intimate feeling, um, you know, with me just in the picture and you don't really see anything in my background, which allows my kids and everything else to be able to do what they need to do in the background. And it doesn't disturb anything on my live feed. All right. And then plus, you know, I don't want everybody just seeing my kids, you know, <laughs> just walking around. Right. So there's that all right so we're going to go ahead and close that now for you because you you know you may not need to do all that you may just have the you know the horizontal view of your camera and if we do that right so let's go back to filters and if we take everything off okay now i have a horizontal view that i can simply do like this do like that and then boom i'm set up right this is technically a very basic but a very professional right of course if you had a better camera and everything like that right but a professional way to show your vertical string okay just so that you guys see how mine is set up 
let me go ahead and put my filters back on my camera all right so let's go to brio let's go to filters let's put those back on and this is how my setup is okay so I have my camera in there. I have a little background of my setup there. I have where you can follow me or where I'm streaming to. I have my streamer name. And then down here is my game. Okay, right now it's showing PC, but if I click this button on my desktop, this is now showing my console, all right? And of course, Stellar Blade, okay? That's the game that we're currently streaming. So if you're interested in that, tune into my live streams we're about we're a little more than halfway through now all right so we're going to go ahead and hit that button again so that is that now for our vertical plugin we're going to hit this gear icon which is going to bring up our vertical settings and this is literally only for the vertical atm vertical plugin okay same deal same deal go down to streaming you're going to set everything up. Okay, here's my settings, 65 KB uh, PS, uh, keyframe interval two seconds. I have it on medium quality because it is, since it is a vertical stream, most people are going to be viewing this on a cellular device, um, which is pretty small. I mean, you, you can go to the max. I can if I wanted to, I just don't feel that I need it. I'd rather save um that energy for something else that the computer needs it for tuning is going to be low latency profile is going to be high uh max reframes is going to be set at two if you want a stream delay go ahead by all means put that there now here is where we enter remember that new key that we created we're going to enter it here okay so the key is going to go here we're going to copy it from youtube paste it here and then we're also going to copy the server, the URL and paste it here. All right. Once we press OK, we're literally set up in order for the vertical plugin, though, to go live. You need to hit this button here. All right. Stream all vertical outputs. You need to hit that and that is going to send your live feed over to that stream key. All right. Hey, if you guys made it to this part of the video, I appreciate you. Please give me a thumbs up and stick around. At the end, I'm gonna show you guys how you can multi-stream to different platforms all at once for free. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can stream to multiple platforms at the same time, okay? So what I have here is called multiple output. And I'm just going to show you what this is, right? So if I go to modify, you'll see now this is my Twitch setup, right? So I got my URL, I got the stream key there under um, the video settings. Everything is get from OBS. I also have sync start with OBS, okay? I have that both for Twitch and I have the same thing for Kit, okay? So in order to get that, you're going to want to search up OBS multiple stream uh, plugin. So it's already there. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and we see multiple RTMP outputs plugin. Okay. Once we hit that, same difference. We're going to go ahead and go to download. We're going to get it installed and boom that's just that once it's installed you close down obs you open it back up and now you're going to have a multiple output tab and in that tab now you can add twitch facebook kick whatever you want to add add it there so now when you go ahead and press start streaming as long as you have these right under modify as long as you have it set to sync start with obs all of your platforms are going to start together. All right, so if you guys made it to this part of the video, first of all, I appreciate you. Second of all, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we will be putting out more content videos on different products that I'm currently going over. I have another product that I just purchased 
Um, and I'm, you know, building, doing some testing with it and building some information on it so that I could bring that guy, bring that to you guys. All right. So um, if you guys like to stream again, please like, comment, subscribe. I do reply to all comments. If you guys have a question, leave the question in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Much love. You guys stay blessed. Ox out. Deuces.